Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Um, I haven't uploaded in some time. Um, I know I said I was going to upload me doing some actual diamond paintings, and I have the video on my phone. Um, I just haven't been able to upload it to my laptop yet, um, but hopefully I can get that video together guys. Um, another video I did was just showing my supplies and how I store them, but I figured I'd just do it on webcam and instead of up in there. I know it's better quality on my phone, but hey. Um, so anyways, this is what I have to store my stuff at the moment. Um, I'm actually wanting to get a an art um, utility thing in my bobber, but that will come in due time. Um, I did finish the the last diamond painting I was doing, and I started doing this one. I actually haven't worked on it in a couple days, so I'm probably going to do some work on it today. Um, so I do have that one. I got that one. From Hobby Lobby, um, which is a lot different from the ones that I order online. Um, the material in the back is a lot different, and it's harder to straighten the corners. But luckily, just throw a book on it for a little while, and it kind of straightens itself out. Um, I did order a another one, and I got that in the mail yesterday. And this one, it's gonna look like that. The live, laugh, love, which is like one of my favorite sayings. I have a lot of pictures of my house that say it, so I thought it would be perfect um, to do one of these and to pop it in the frame and throw it in my living room. So that is another one I bought, and I got that one off of Amazon. Um, let me just check my phone. Um, and a big must if you're going to do diamond paintings and your eyes suck like mine do um, definitely get a, a light board you can find these on Amazon for about $18 um, there's a whole bunch of different kinds um, but I will link below the one that I have and I got it off Amazon if you guys are interested um, in purchasing one it does come with um, a charging cord, but you do have to have a dock, which, you know, everyone's got this sitting around, hanging around. Um, this is what I used to keep everything in, and it's super tiny, um, but I have this now, so I kind of separated my stuff, so this a little one, I just have some extra containers. These are really good to have to put your drills in. Um, People also use bags, so this time around I'm using the bags. Never again. It's so much easier to use these. Just saying. Uh, and I got a couple of trays. I had a whole bunch, but I threw out a lot because you get them with, you get like little ones like this with every single kit. Um, but it is good to have different sizes. So I have this really, really big one see the size of my hand so it's really big this is like a medium and this is a small one this is small um, but I got this one with my uh, soft kit so I figured I'd keep those um, a pair of tweezers which is a very very good to have um, because when I started the sloth um, painting, I'm not used to like shapes. I'm used to the numbers, and these had the shapes, and I got mixed up. So it took me an hour to, I had to pick, 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 pick all the wrong ones out. So it took me a while. <laughs> um, the other thing you want is labels. Um, you can get the other labels, which are a little more expensive. But why not just go with 
yard sale labels. You get them in the Dollar Tree, and I can't remember how much I have in here. I think there's like 300 tags, so that kind of works out. That is what is in that container. And this other container. I have one time to think. You get like a whole bunch of these little doodads that of course have their little their little styluses of like you should call. I had tons, so I just I threw them out. Um, I kept a couple of these. I took all of these out and these things, which can help you do more than one, but I find it a waste of time because they all don't stick. And then a whole bunch of these little gripper things. So I just have them in the little sections in here just in case I need them. Um, this is the new pen that stylus that I got with the sloth painting and this grip is way more comfortable. So I just tend to use this one most of the time. Um, a little clips if you need to clip down your work to your light board so it doesn't slip around or you can use like washi tape or something. Um, and of course bags. Normally when you buy a kit they come with some bags. Um, but I would definitely invest in containers to put them in. It'd be a lot easier. So, like I said, this time I did put everything in bags and labeled everything because you know there's the prep process before you actually start your project. But this is more of a pain using the bags. I know a lot of people do, but I really I won't do them next time. I'll just put them in the containers that I have. And then also when you get a kit, it will come with some wax. Um, this one actually came with a wax pod, little, little containers, which I really like. Um, you can purchase extra ones like this on Amazon. If I can find them in there, I will definitely link them in the down bar. Um, but I also have tons of the other ones, which you can buy big sheets of them and you can just split them down. Um, I had found these containers at Walmart for a dollar and they're perfect to store your little waxes as well. Um, but I really like the little pods like a lot more. I think I actually would like to invest in a couple more of these little tabs, which fits really in there. Um, I also put my uh, charger for my light pad in here as well, but I usually do work on this a little bit every night, so I kind of just keep it out. Um, so yeah, that's it. For this video, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like diamond paintings, give this video a like. I really appreciate it. And what are you doing? Sorry. And um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.